ghosts caught on camera. Well, hopefully we can convince you that these are fake. And if visual effects are at play. <laughs> and you can hold my hand if you want to. <laughs> I'll be honest, this one's pretty good. <laughs> What is a ghost? Nico, have you ever seen a ghost or had a ghostly premonition? No, I don't believe in ghosts. All of my experiences can be 100% explained with science. I, I actually haven't either. I totally have not. I know that people out there, when they have an experience like this, they swear by it. So while we don't have that emotional connection to these clips, we do have a few years of VFX experience under our belt. Hopefully we can convince you that these are fake. <laughs> <laughs> As visual effects artists, we can analyze the pixels, figure out if we are looking at real ghost footage and if visual effects are at play. We're not gonna get into arguments about what happens after you die or anything like that. Leave that up to the frothy comment section down below. So some of these videos have like 20 million views. I'm just imagining the person who watched was like one or two ghost videos and then the YouTube algorithm's just like, you like ghosts, huh? <laughs> Ooh, wall of ghost videos. <laughs> it's about to happen to you after seeing this video. <laughs> Sorry. Oh goodness, oh goodness, what do we have here? Ghosts caught on camera. All right, okay, so the ghost is wrecking the place. So first off, okay, it's a ghost. So a ghost is a person. You have to pick up the spoon and ghostly throw it. You don't go like, you don't like spider, ghost <laughs> spider web to a spoon and then yank it across the room. So that's what it seems like. This is like ghost Spider-Man who wants a spoon. Okay, so obviously option A, ghosts are real. The end. Option B. <laughs> I have a pretty good feeling we're just looking at some strings, pulling stuff. All right, now we have a lot of focus on this drawer. It's one of the drawers that's quite well framed in the shot. Not any of the other drawers in the kitchen. Exactly, but also think about this too now. If you're gonna tug on that with a string, you only have two locations you can do it. You don't wanna contaminate the space by standing in the room, creating unnecessary like shadow or something like that. So you're either hiding behind that door or you're off frame right around the camera. And off frame right around the camera, just so happens to be the direction that most of these objects <laughs> are traveling. The door that opens also follows that same logic. There's probably a dude. Sorry. There's a dude <laughs> around frame right, and he's got two little strings, some fishing lines, something small, and one's attached to the handle of the drawer. The other one is already attached to the silverware inside it. I can't see any evidence of visual effects, but this would be so easily faked that you have to go with the more plausible explanation. Their whole TikTok is uh, ghost related, by the way. So really, here's the question. Is the influencer Ben and Laney, or is it the ghost? I mean, is the ghost getting a cut? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like Ooh. that one. Oh, that's just some guy vaping out of his car window. <laughs> I'll be honest, this one's pretty good. <laughs> but look out, there's some smoke on the front left bumper too, see. I don't think it's smoke. If it's smoke, it's not dissipating the way smoke should. The little flicker of white at the bottom corner of the screen on the car's bumper, it feels like it's something really close to the lens that's out of focus. Well, it's a crappy like uh, infrared sensor too, so you might get some sort of streaking or trails. I do not see evidence of visual effects here. No. Could we remake this effect? Yeah, we totally could. Like this is something you could do in visual effects and you can have it be flawless and be hard to see how it's made. But the other thing's like, would a VFX artist think to just put a random little blob down by the car's bumper? No, they probably wouldn't. You know, that kind of stuff is very accidental. Oh, you know, I think I figured out what it is. It could, this could be like a porch or something like that. And it could have something above it. And somebody could have just stomped on the ground and a little bit of dust went from up in the rafters and it just floated by. And it's only like a few feet away from the camera. So you have dust coming off the left oh, too. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Oh, you got it. You got it. You got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. All right, moving on. <laughs> no ghost. It's funny, like once you like get it and you see it, you're like, oh, that's it. You just know. This is just low shutter speed. It's a low shutter speed on an infrared sensor. Look at the particles streaking. So this is the trailing effect I'm talking about. You see like dust streaking across the lens here. If you look at footage of old video cameras, it happens all the time with hot spots as well. Either we're dealing with trailing artifacts on the infrared sensor or a low shutter speed. 
but not just like having a low shutter, but having a shutter that's kind of like averaging or putting together these long exposures. Like yeah. Most cameras take a frame 24 times a second or 30 times a second, but sometimes you need so much light that you can only capture a frame, say, once every half second or once every second. Something like the background, which isn't moving, will appear really solid, but the person who's moving is basically just turning into a big motion blur as they keep going across. The reason he's disappearing over there is because the only reason he's being illuminated is because the camera itself is pushing out infrared light into the space for it to pick up, for the sensor itself to detect. And once you start getting that far away, you're leaving that natural area of where the infrared light is. Because look how bright everything is. Whoa, interesting. His camera's getting screwed up. <laughs> That's a cool like data mosh effect going on. Okay, I wonder if this is just the codec glitching out and not updating parts of the image uh, as the person walks through it. So the parts that say static, basically the computer <clears throat> goes, okay, I'm just gonna give you a picture. And you just hold this picture until I tell you that something, there's new data there. And that's basically how it saves space in terms of compressing the video. So like the house, the tree, everything around here is not moving. It's basically just a still picture that's been told to just stay on frame for as long as possible. And so as this person gets close, the, it could be glitching out and keeping some of that there and not updating it with new information. Because it's dark and you just have one tiny little moving thing on screen, it could be that it's just too little movement to trigger the codec to create a new keyframe basically to add new data to it or to add new data to that block. What you're about to witness on this video can only be described as an assault. These two fine gentlemen were minding their own business in the stairwell when they were brutally assaulted by a ghost. He then endures a very brief but very aggressive session of some paranormal ground and pound. <laughs> Paranormal ground and pound. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so visual effects. We finally have some visual effects. This one's really straightforward. It's pretty clearly a locked off camera. The guys go and they do one, their first pass, and then their friend goes and does the second pass as the ghost. And they just literally, literally layer the footage on top and make it transparent and then run all of this through the crappiest, most degrading color grade and color filters and smudge and blur and all that stuff. This is a useless security camera if this is actually what it looks like. No one would ever put a security camera in a stairwell like this that has zero light and can't get you an image. That ghost, imagine being that ghost though and your unfinished business was kicking the shit out of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's one guy I gotta mount and deliver a paranormal grounded pound to. <laughs> it's like, yes, I finally kicked Kevin's ass. <laughs> The following clip was filmed while my mom and I were on vacation. We decided to leave our cats home alone for the few nights we would be gone. Jesus Christ! Ah! That cat. Oh, this is, this is creepy. The mirror adds a nice cinematic touch. Oh, there's a second cat. And you can hold my hand if you want to. <gasps> okay, I'm good. All right, so the first thing that jumps out to me is this being fake. If you look closely at the table when it shakes, you can see that it's been composited in because you can see it fade in and out over the background footage. So they filled in that separately and then stuck it on top of the footage that they have there. So the VFX there basically debunked this whole shot, but let's, let's take a look at the rest of it and see what else stands out as evidence of this being faked. So the shadow in the hallway, based on the reflection, the light casting that shadow, is on the ground around the corner. So somebody set up a light on the floor, and you know, most people don't put their lights on the floors. Also, the door gets pulled shut in the same spot from where the person was casting the shadow. How convenient that the things that get moved get pulled towards where the people would be. Uh, the camera getting knocked off the shelf is unique. I would assume that somebody else is in this room with a string. One of the things is they don't show you the end of the shot. Like, if the camera kept recording, it was pointing at the wall, why not continue the shot until it points at the wall? Yeah. In fact, it's more likely it's the camera fell off the shelf. <laughs> and then it fell, <laughs> and then there's like a dude to my side of the table. I was like, oh, yeah. well, I guess we'll cut this part. Secondly, the cat that comes around the corner and looks at us happens to look in the direction of where the table was shaken. In other words, if there's a person hiding in this room calling the cat, they would have to be below the camera in order to shake the table, call the cat who happens to look in this direction, and then pull a string or whatever and knock the camera down. 
The cat's motion on the left really implies that there's a person <laughs> by the table slash camera. See, look at that cat look at the person on the floor. Oh. <laughs> Looking at the camera a little bit. Ears twitch. Hear the ears twitching? Ears that, twitch back up. See, yeah, back. They, yeah, the cat gave us a, <laughs> a clue. <laughs> so even though this is a fake clip, I still actually really like it. You know, stage or not, the uh, the cat acting, cacting, is really well done. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pent up scream from all these scares. The only way I can keep a clear head is if I let the tiny screams out occasionally. Mmm, a door has opened. Ooh. Let's see if something else moves now. That's usually how it goes. I feel like I feel like we're gonna get a locker slam. Yeah. yeah. That convenient window there. Like it's only mysterious if people like us can't just look at it and go, oh yeah. There's a window there where someone could easily reach through and wiggle that thing. Come on, oh, ghost. Uh, spooky face. Is it gonna be the slippery sign? Yeah, hold <laughs> it. <laughs> wow, that ghost room has some good dramatic timing. Yeah. The ghost slipped. <laughs> no, that was the ghost slipping. I can't believe this person got 20 million views of this video. What are we doing? That's a professional YouTuber for all, over a decade. When I see a video like this that gets 20 million views, and I think about how much work we put into our videos, sometimes, sometimes it's tough. That's a real scary moral of this situation. This is probably a real camera that they just stuck up on like a ladder. <laughs> yeah, actually, pause. You can see an actual security camera, it looks like. Exactly. <laughs> and you can see how high they are mounting these cameras. So just that alone right there kind of puts this one to bed. This camera is literally at the height of picture frames. This camera is as high as this. <laughs> it's like, have you ever seen a security camera mounted at like just above head level? Yeah, just someone's just someone back there slamming a door. There's a win literally a window right there, which provides a perfect entry point to push on that locker. And then strings, bro. We can talk about strings all day, but strings okay. are great. You can do a lot with strings. Like you're out there, like I need a really good computer to do visual effects. Like no, just literally black black thread. Like when I watch the stuff, I'm like, I'm not even trying to analyze it for VFX. I'm just going. I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of a ghost. It's like, I'm a ghost, I go to school, I'm like, slam, shake, randomly open a door, some stuff falls out. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so then he slips on the floor. <laughs> like, are ghosts just drunk? Uh, I wanna help recreate what a ghost does when he goes into a house. It's just like, just like, yeah, I'm a ghost. Uh, It's like, what are you doing? Just bumping into crap. <laughs> All right, so after we recorded this video, I heard some really weird noises from this hallway. Maybe somebody's just playing a prank on us, but I grabbed my sound recorder. Let's go in there, see what we can discover, okay? Oh, I'm, I'm hearing something. Hold on, I gotta turn it up. Oh, great spirits, if you are there, make yourself known. I've really been enjoying CorridorDigital.com. No ads, early access to exclusive videos. Son of a Dungeon is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, great spirits who do not rest in peace, why are you so agitated? Crew Cut Season 2 is dropping, and I will not rest until I see it. Huh. Wow. Oh, great spirits, what treasures lie in wait for us? 50% off on merch, live hangouts with the crew, all the Koro videos you know and love are even better. Shh, shh, shh. I, I think the signal's coming from this room. All right, let's go, let's check it out. Ah! Koro.digital.com. Ghosts. It's most likely a string. Ghosts are made out of string. I learned that most ghost videos are actually just videos of objects that the ghosts move. I was hoping for like more videos of like, you know, a girl in a colonial dress like floating through the air or something like that. But no, there's actually very little footage of actual ghosts. The little smoke puff, that sends his tiny chill down my spine. Yes. So 
Halloween comes around every year, in fact. And so for next year, we need some good ghost videos. Please leave a comment below of what you think the most convincing ghost footage is so we can look at it. All right, guys, happy Halloween. Have a safe time trick-or-treating. Don't be afraid of ghosts. If you spot any ghosts this Halloween night, don't be afraid. Just look around the corner, find your buddy with the string, give him a high five.